Well, here we are again, everybody. This is Tuesday, Tuesday morning about, I don't know what time it is, 9, 9.30, I think, something like that. Been down here a little bit already. Jesse is enjoying some uh, leftover pie that my sister brought me actually a couple weeks ago, and I, I never got to it. Sorry there, sis. But uh, not bad out right now. I think it's in the 70s. Humid. Supposed to be having, well, we're in a flash flood watch. Let's have some storms and stuff roll in here pretty soon. I'm gonna step out here, might catch some wind noise. Maybe not. But believe, believe they're coming from off that direction, which is kind of an odd direction for them to come from. There's some big storm system rolling up through the center of the country. and Looks like we're gonna be on the edge of it. I don't know, the, the radar I looked at looked like uh, most of it's gonna go southeast of us, but that probably means we're gonna get nailed. Seems like you usually think one thing and the totally opposite happens. Got this thing back a few days ago and uh, it's running fine except I need to work on this rear tail light's not working for some reason. And it's acted up before and if I'd hit on it I actually broke, uh, broke that out last fall. But if you'd beat on it, it would start, uh, it would start working but right now I don't have any brake or turn signal back here the other side would act up every once in a while too but it's it's doing fine now it was usually the one that acted up the most but got to get to work on that which i'm not sure if i'm going to put it in this video or not did come over yesterday with a loader tractor and that that grapple grabber thing on the front of it and cleaned up the mess with the trees i think it took about an hour and a half and i got 99 percent of it using that thing I had very little to do by hand a bunch of raking left to do but other than that pretty much done and I'm sure you're catching some wind noise now gonna be doing a little bit of work on the Chevy Tahoe today might get back over here on the uh, on the Ford F-150 we'll see need to do an oil change on that but as far as what's going on on the Tahoe see how the windshield wipers sit on this thing Something happened last fall. They acted up, something slipped somewhere. And they won't go, that's where they rest. And when you turn them on, when you turn them on, they, they just don't, they will go down a little bit farther, don't like when you run them like that. But when you shut them off, that's where they rest, and I don't like it. So anyway, get started on this. Let me get things set up here, and I'll bring you right back in. So to begin on this here job, and my lighting isn't the greatest out here, but first you gotta get your windshield wiper off, which just fold that up a little little tab right there lift that up and then this should just wiggle off of here like I said should there we go and do the same on the other side
Now that I got those off, there is a screw. You gotta get this plastic piece off of here. There's a screw over here somewhere. Oh, right there, you gotta, gotta take that screw, take that screw out and then this should come out. I think you need to open the hood to do that. And then I believe there's six more on this center piece. But do the same on the other side to remove this one. Actually, I'm not sure why you have to remove Probably need to take those off to get the center one out. So take this one out on this side and the other side and then take this center one off. screw out of there. Well, we'll just try not to lose it. Alright, so once you get all those screws out, you're going to want to pull your weather stripping off. And that should Unless I missed a screw somewhere. Caught on that little tab there. And I may have missed one over here, I'm not sure. Let's see here. Yeah, there's one right there. Okay, now I think this should lift out of here. I still wonder if I missed a screw in here. I must have. Hold on. Okay, yeah, I missed the screw. So that should pull out of there. And you're gonna have to disconnect your windshield wiper uh, tube. Now at this here point, now at this point I go ahead and put your wiper, your uh, wiper blades back on and I will explain why momentarily. So with your wiper blades on, I'm going to go ahead and run them. see what's happening down here. You got your you got your arm off your motor and then you've got your two uh, wiper blade arm linkages down in there. Now being that they don't quite go all the way down but then when you shut them off where they stop. So, being that both wiper blades, both wiper arms are in about the same position, thinking what happened is something in there, I think it's with, uh, I don't know if you can see without this light. No. 
So I think what's going on is I think the wiper blade, I think these are okay. I think it has to do with this. And I think what I need to do is loosen this nut or bowl or whatever we have here. Push this down just a smidge and see what happens. All right, guys, I think I finally got it here. I set another light up here to help things out a little bit. Took a little finagling. I did adjust. I did adjust that arm a little bit. And then on the, uh, the wiper linkages themselves, those are 10 millimeter nuts on there. And I loosened them up and adjusted the arms on top of it. And I, th and I think we got it. Well, I got a bright light shining in here, but much better. I don't know what happened last fall. I was taking, taking my daughter to school and all of a sudden wipers started acting up and almost like it slipped a, slipped a gear or something somewhere. But anyway, I finally got that taken care of now to get, uh, get to work on that back light. Weather, however, is not too bad, but he's not a fan of it. He's all wet right now. I'm not even sure where Jesse is, but well, it kind of quit raining now. Hasn't rained very hard, just real light. Pretty comfortable day. Humid, but other than that, not too bad. Anyway, now need to, need to figure out what's going on over here, but I'm gonna do that off camera. Just wanna get these windshield wipers uh, straightened out. That was annoying me. So I need to get this all buttoned back up and move on to other things. She needs a bath too. So coming up, probably be doing something on uh, on the truck here and keep moving forward on things. Just one day at a time here, one day at a time. Haven't put anything out on my barbecue channel either, the Fox Shop Barbecue. If you might be interested in that kind of stuff, uh, I'll put a link down in the description below. Haven't posted a video up there for quite a while. Actually, I think I have one edited, well not edited, but needs to be edited on, on my computer. So maybe I'll do that as well and start getting back into to making videos again just just been a little bit difficult around here guys so so anyway if you would give this video a big old thumbs up comments go down below subscribe if you haven't already we'll catch you next time bye bye <laughs>